Okay, uh, welcome back to more of Nine Villages. And uh, we're gonna just do some more scouting in this part. Uh, there was one uh, little village or town or whatever we can go to. And you could probably do this right at the beginning of the game, but it's kind of difficult. And it's probably not even worth your while doing. So might as well wait until you're a little better prepared. And this is somewhat of a long path. Obviously easier now with some better equipment on board. And then that I can scoop up more money. Always good to scoop up more cash. This is just more random music I'm unfamiliar with. Not a bad spot to get some money. You know, the ropes tend to drop a fair amount of it. Uh, I don't think that lava hurts you. I don't think you can even walk on it, so... <clears throat> so, you know, at least that's convenient. You don't have to worry about misstepping or anything. Level two ropes there. And there is something down below, but I'm probably gonna get that later. A little bit difficult to get. I could probably could do it, but to be on the safer side and get it later. I think I just completed a heart container anyway. And yeah, it's a heart piece you get down there, so it's not really that helpful. And that money there, you're pretty much not gonna be able to get, I don't know, probably end of the game maybe? I believe it's just more money. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that there. You know, if you just beat up all these enemies, you probably end up getting tons of money anyway. Yeah, so again, you can do this at the beginning of the game, but uh, see how it gets a little tricky. So many enemies you face already. You would be pretty much unprepared to handle half of this. Now I got my bombs back. Yeah, 
I see some of these screens get a bit trickier. this much risk early on, especially when you don't really get much out of it. And now it's more worthwhile to do this. Alright, into the castle town. I think this is the FF1 shop music. Interesting choice. And you do get something decent from uh, the little obstacle course to go through, but I uh, don't think I would survive it right now, and it's not really that helpful anyway. And everybody bought a bow, and it's only a little bit cheaper. I mean, the other one was like, what, 250 And more Kid Icarus music. Like the, was it, World 3 music. And so this is another one of the mini games, and you actually need a magic boomerang, at least. Uh, so if you have just a wooden one, that's not going to be enough, and you'll see why. This one's really finicky on the controls. Look at that. It's like it's not switching properly. It's, like, it's almost like it's getting two hits. But you see why you need the magic boomerang. A regular boomerang can't reach that corner. Now at least the blocks stay the same way. And here it's just a matter of uh, hitting the targets. And this one's a little bit tougher. I guess you gotta be able to do diagonal throws. Yeah, but that's not too tricky to do. Luckily you don't have to worry about, you know, running out of ammo or anything since you're just using your boomerang for this. So eventually you'll get through that and pick up another piece of heart. Okay, got the warp point right here. So open that shortcut for later. Okay, um, I could do level two or three, but I'm gonna keep going a little bit. I got some more maps to scout out. Give me a chance to get some more money while I'm at it. I'm kind of surprised I forgot to explore this. I might as well do it right now. It's probably gonna be the rest of this part is just scouting out more squares. This I already explored, yeah, that strip of land. And yeah, that one blank space I'll get to later. Uh, that has, I think, just more free money. So when I'm actually going for a big cash, then yeah, I'll be scouting all that.
village, or Naboo should be to the right, I believe. Okay, so I can just start from here. Again, a lot of just random screens are just gonna be going through all this. Just an odd grass field, I guess it's just good for some more money, I guess. Okay, so I think I reached the end of this point. Okay, nothing else over here. I don't think there's anything under this, even if you could get under there. I don't think there's anything on that waterfall. Uh, there is something on the screen, but I don't know if it works. I mean, sometimes I can get it to work, but if you use your whistle, uh, what's supposed to happen is stairs are supposed to come in the center. And it's, it's just more free money, so <clears throat> not that big a deal. Uh, not a piece of heart or anything. something on it, but I think it's just another empty screen. I'm not picking up a fair amount of money as I'm doing my exploration. Okay, so I'm gonna start scouting up here a little bit, <clears throat> this time towards the right side. Uh, this time I might have to break up into two parts, because there's a lot of exploration to the right here. forest area. And I think this is more Mega Man 2 music, I think. I'm not sure, though. Now, you got the Garayas coming in.
nothing in this shop, it's the same old stuff. I'm trying to be somewhat systematic how I'm gonna scout out all these squares. A lot of territory to explore. This is supposed to be as well as the up arrow. And I think it's just pointed at that shop, so nothing out of the ordinary. There's a lot of territory here. Oh man, and again, it's just expanding into more columns and stuff. These are probably dead ends. <clears throat> Just to explore all this stuff. Probably heard that one. Probably I didn't hit it too hard. It's not sharp either. It's on a dull edge of the table I hit. So the little bit of ouchy slayer should go away pretty quick. Oh, a piece of heart over here. Sort of guard it. And pick up that piece of heart. And we actually can't get that money yet. Quite a bit.
Okay, we'll just keep moving. Just keep being systematic with our scouting. Okay, there we go. Got warp point right there. Okay, this is starting to go into Maze Island, and I'm probably going to do that in the next part, because there is a lot more to explore. <laughs> I'm just getting some more squares marked out there. Yeah, this goes a lot further over to the east. It pretty much goes all the way over here uh, to the eastern side of the, the grid. So there's a lot to explore. Okay, so I'm gonna do that in the next part. That's just gonna be more scouting just to get over to Maze Island. Okay, that's gonna be all. You can even see how big the maze is. Okay, so next part we'll keep exploring to the right there. Alright, see you guys later.